In this episode, we're going to drive a section of the Blue Ridge Parkway, visit Natural Bridge State Park in Virginia, all while staying at a Jellystone Park. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Well, we had a great time here in Washington, D.C., in our nation's capital. Cherry Hill Park here, very nice. We didn't enjoy any of the amenities, really. This was just like a place to sleep. And they've been here for 100 years. Can you believe that? I just saw that on their, on their pamphlet. Very nice, very clean, no complaints. Now we're going, we're, we're going to begin the journey south, southwest, rather. Yes, today the road will take us to Natural Bridge, Virginia. You know, the mountains are calling. So as soon as we get out of the city, we're going to take Interstate 66 West and then, eventually, Interstate 81 South. I-81 here is one of my favorite interstates in the eastern United States and a great alternate to I-95. The detour only adds about 100 miles to the trip and less than two hours and it is a much more scenic drive. We are approaching Yogi Bear's Jellystone Park at Natural Bridge. And if you've been watching regularly, you may feel like deja vu, but don't worry, there's no glitch in the matrix. I did release a sponsored video about this place a few weeks ago. Well, it turns out we're only like 25 minutes from the Blue Ridge Parkway and the weather just, it just became a beautiful day. So what, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go to the Blue Ridge Parkway. Yeah, let's explore the area. This is Glasgow, the closest town. But if you need supplies, keep in mind there is no supermarket or real grocery store with any variety of fresh produce. There's a Dollar General and a convenience store and a general store, but that's about it. We're gonna take US 501 here, pretty windy mountain road, and uh, check it out. There's a scenic overlook. There you go, the James River, some rapids down there. Right here on the side of the road, as we make our way towards the Blue Ridge Parkway. And the flowers are in bloom. I wonder what this blue-green stuff on the trees is. We're down by the James River once again, and there seems to be a dam. 
barely see it, but there's a dam over there. There's the sign entering Blue Ridge Parkway. This is one of my favorite drives in the whole United States. And at this point, I think we've done most of it in different sections. Here we are at Terrapin Mountain, which must be that. 3,500 elevation here, 2,885, and check it out. Check out the valley before us. We can even see a body of water down there. I don't know what that is. Check out the view. Oh wow. You look at that. Shall I say commanding view? Clouds are right there. The Blue Ridge does take a long time to drive it because every time you see an overlook, you feel compelled to stop. So let's stop here. Here's another amazing view. Just stop for a few seconds here. Arnold Valley, we are at 3,700 uh, 3, now. See all the layers and the mountains. Okay, let's do one more. Alright, let's go back to the campground. We'll do another section of the Blue Ridge in a couple of days on the way back south. Oh, I remember doing this part, this section of the Blue Ridge, back in 2019. But it looked completely different. It was cloudy and the views weren't that great. I just remembered because of the peaks of Otter Lodge here on the left.
It is time for another RV cooking show. And you know how much I love to cook in the RV, so I'm excited to share with you our new sponsor, Kamikoto, Kamikoto Knives. And you know how important it is to have at least one good sharp knife in the kitchen? Well, here we have three, made in the traditional way with high quality Japanese steel, and they even have a lifetime guarantee. It comes in this beautiful wooden box, so it would make a great gift for the chef or, or the future chef in your life. I'm going to make a variation of my famous picadillo, so let's chop some onions and peppers with our new Japanese knife. Oh yeah, that's sharp. Let's brown that meat a little bit. It always tastes better when it is a little bit seared. A little bit of salt, black pepper at every stage. Garlic, oregano, cumin, paprika, you know, the usual stuff. Lots of paprika actually, for color, since I'm out of tomato sauce. Cooking wine, oh yeah, might as well. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Manzanilla olives, green peas, and some cilantro. I love cilantro. Some homemade hot sauce, and uh, I'm gonna make some rice as well. Did you know Michelin chefs all over the world are using these high quality Japanese steel knives and Kamikoto has several special offers going on right now and it is offering you, my viewers, an extra $50 off on any purchase with discount code TRAVELINGROBERT on top of their special offers. So go to kamikoto.com slash TRAVELINGROBERT or click on the link in the description box. Now let's eat. Mmm. Well, good morning. Today we're going to the Natural Bridge. Actually, it is one of the nicest looking uh, visitor centers I've ever seen. Let's go see the natural bridge. Admission fee required at all times. Yeah, it is a $9 fee to visit the state park. And uh, she assured me that at some point someone is going to ask me for the ticket uh, before we get there. So we'll see. It is a Virginia historic landmark here, the natural bridge. Now we've got some stairs. Yeah, this ranger station here, that's where they ask for your ticket. And uh, now, here we go. Oh, that's the natural bridge right there. <laughs> it out. I thought it was gonna be like a long hike uh, in the wilderness, but it is not. That's pretty cool. clean this water is right here. Very clear crystalline. And this rapids are... Would that be a rapid or a cascade? I'm gonna call it a rapid. And uh, look at that. Up there. It's very cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're walking under the bridge. A lot of water under the bridge too. Walk under the bridge, the trail keeps going along the creek, all the way to a waterfall that is at the end. The whole thing is about a mile one way. Oh well, the Monacan Indian exhibit is closed. We'll have to do the best we can from outside. horticultural area well, circa 1699 we'll just take a peek through the fence here it is from a higher vantage point now let's continue Ooh, there's an otter. <laughs> and it's gone. Those are more unpredictable than dolphins. Who knows where or when it is going to resurface. The natural bridge was originally purchased by Thomas Jefferson from King George III of England in 1774, along with 157 acres of land around it. And eventually it became a tourist attraction. This is Salt Peter Cave. Yep, Thomas Jefferson leased out the cave for the excavation of potassium nitrate, used in gunpowder. Let me tell you, it's good to own land with a natural resource. Huh? This is Cedar Creek, by the way, and it is more beautiful than I ever expected, with all these ripples and the crystalline water. I think that's it. We're almost there. Look at that. Well, there it is. So transparent. You know, it's the darndest thing. It gets cloudy, it gets sunnier, and I don't know what to do. By the way, I did forget, and now it's raining. 
go figure. <laughs> I, I did forget a second battery for this camera, but rookie mistake. We have the 360, so we're gonna do a lot of 360 video on this hike because that's what we have. But look at that. It's Lace Falls right there. And this is the end of the trail. It's beautiful, beautiful. Let's zoom in, shall we? That's it, that's the end of the trail and it keeps raining on and off and the sun keeps, it's get, it keeps getting cloudy and sunnier periodically. One of those, uh, I mean, we have high winds, the, the clouds are moving fast, but I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm undecided whether I'm gonna do another trail or not, but for now, let's just get back to the visitor center and, uh, and regroup. It's been a beautiful trail, a lot less strenuous than I was expecting, to be honest. It's, um, it's not bad, I mean, it's, it's, there's a little bit of an up and down, there's a couple of stairs, but for the most part, it looks like this. Okay, let's do a tiny planet real quick. I know, I couldn't resist the temptation. What do you know, it is raining again. Oh, look at that little waterfall down there. I have not seen that. Yeah, that's a better view. The Lost River. I believe they're gonna release some fish into the stream. Amazing how you can see the bottom so clearly. Let's check out Jefferson's cave once again. see the bridge all the way from here mm, it is raining pretty hard now I even got a few drops on my lens
that's it for the natural bridge. Let's get back to the campground and cook us some lunch. I'm hungry and I'm sure mom is hungry too. These stairs right here are actually the most strenuous part of the trail. Let's drive over the bridge because, yes, it is an actual bridge. A road goes over it. And this is it. That was anticlimactic at best. Let's go back to the campground and fire up that grill. It is that kind of weather. All of a sudden it's cold, all of a sudden it's, it's hot, you know, it's, it's, it's windy. But this is gonna come out good. We got it, we're getting some salmon going here and some potatoes. We're gonna let it run for like 10 minutes, see what happens. And we got some Atlas Ponzi IPA, courtesy of our friend Jim from DC. So, cheers, Jim. Here we go, salmon and potatoes. Well done. <laughs> Hi. We're going to Jefferson Point. Such a beautiful area and totally under the radar. Okay, here we are at the Skyline Trail. The parking is $5. On our system here, you just uh, fill up the envelope and deposit right there. And uh, I mean, let's check out the trail. By the way, I'm with mom, so we're gonna try to do a trail together today. Uh, it's a short trail. It's only like half a mile to Jefferson Point. If it is not too strenuous, we're gonna be able to do it. Yeah, mom stayed back a little bit while I finished the hike. But you know, she got a little bit of it, you know, like maybe a tenth, a fifth of a mile. <laughs> and I'm just gonna jog off my lunch here real quick. Whew, a little out of breath here. I thought that back there was gonna be the main view, with, which is not a bad view at all whatsoever. But uh, it keeps going. I'm a little out of breath. Maybe I'm a little out of shape. I don't know. Let's continue. We're almost there. I believe probably the actual Jefferson Point is up there. I see those two people uh, walking over there, so that's gotta be it. I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible because I don't want mom to stay by herself for too long. I mean, she's probably catching up on her social media anyways. What a view, huh? A weather radar, perhaps? I think the actual Jefferson Point is over there. So let's just uh, make one final run. I don't want to leave mom alone for too long. Well, this seems to be the end of the trail. Let's head back. Well, let's start heading back. It's, uh, it's pretty cold and windy, but it was a rewarding hike. I liked it. Very well maintained the trail, by the way. I mean, you could drive it if they allowed it. Actually, the view from this vantage point is arguably probably the better view, better than, than over there at at Jefferson Point. All right, let's go down, check on mom. We're gonna head back to, to, to Jellystone because we have a live stream to do tonight. And 
By the way, this area, beautiful. I love this area. I love that uh, RV resort. The only thing that my only, uh, you know, negative is that, they, and for some people it might be a positive, internet connectivity is no no good. There's no T-Mobile, very little AT&T, a little more Verizon, and Cam Crowd Wi-Fi is fine, but not, not to do a live stream. It's not enough to do a live stream, so. Let's see, Verizon with the cell phone booster. Might work. And we're back. So it is almost night time here. I just finished the live stream and I'm, I'm losing my voice. By the way, it, it is great that we were able to, to do the live stream with the, with the cell phone booster. And now I decided to, to grill some meat because Mm, that's coming out good. That's what I like to do. It wouldn't be a proper RV resort if we didn't have a railroad track, right? <laughs> Luckily, it only passes like once or twice at this time. Let's flip it. Yeah, that's a thick piece of meat. It's very cold here. <laughs> Tomorrow we continue the adventures with mom. We're going to visit Jefferson's Monticello, another section of the Blue Ridge Parkway and then the long journey home back to Florida with a detour to see Charleston. But more about that on the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. I'm free in my RV. Yeah, I'm riding, riding, riding. I'm riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV.